getting everyone else's stories, not being able to tell yours, living, like actually searching and creating other people's lives and stories and, and, and stifling your own mm -hmm. and, and not being able to be you, be yourself. Like, I feel that right now. And, and, and to be quite honest, I felt it then too. Mm -hmm. I just never... How I feel it, okay? I feel like this. I'm not ready to goddamn put a label on my back, right. okay? I am living and I'm enjoying my moments and truth. Now, if somebody see me as one way, somebody see me as another way, that ain't none of my motherfucking right. business. That's how they view it. Keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, because that lady we put on, how does that help me? Mm -hmm. That's not doing that for me. That's just giving you something to conversate about. So, do you feel like. got nothing to do with me and my benefit in helping me. So, do yeah, you at the end of the day, I'm human. But at this time, I'm not ready to put a label on myself. Right. Now, maybe in a couple of years, maybe so. But a bitch is not ready for that yet. Mm -hmm. Like, don't put me in a <laughs> box. Bitch, you know, you, you bitch is coming out, bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 let me do shit. I, I, I can't just, hold that mask and shit for too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of playing that bitch. So, let me you know how to. Let's go for it. That's Jacob. Jacob yeah. is not, you know, expressive. Jacob yeah. is not the the raw of who I am. That's not Jacob. Jacob, like you said, is a brand, and that's his image is that brand that you know him as. Yeah. Is it? Oh, you can see it as a job. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's entertainment, bitch. It's not like I'm a lawyer or some shit. It's entertainment. You. Mm -hmm. Meet Jessica, who was also known as Jacob, has recently came out to her new audience of who she used to be. I actually used to watch Jacob when I was 17 years old, okay? So I know <laughs> Miss Jessica is capping about the old field <laughs> I know, I think she's a little bit old, okay? But nothing bad about it. She's still looking good. But we're going to get into that. But before we do, make sure to hit the subscribe button with notifications, okay? Because around this much of people are watching my videos but are not subscribed. You keep coming back. So you might as well hit the subscribe button with notifications and smash the like button because therefore I'm going to be able to make better quality videos and I'm going to be able to do face swap again, etc. So let's... Get straight into the drama. I don't need to go back into the past. I mean, my present and my future is looking so damn bright. But the reason why I'm open to going back to the past by popular demand and because of this channel, 500K, I could not have done this without Jacob. Okay, so a lot of you guys didn't know that Jessica used to be a man and I already knew it. I just never said anything until eventually got exposed on one of the, uh, I don't know, one of the pages out there, I forgot the, I have no problem name dropping, I just literally forgot the person name, but it was a lady who made a video showing Jessica when she used to man, be a man, and a lot of people saying that she's deceiving everyone, etc., but Jessica, when she was Jacob, was actually honest about her transition to everyone. Yeah. So that's what it is. Just giving the people what I thought they wanted, which it clearly was at the moment. Right. I got tired of the motherfucking I just get, I started to get irritated in my motherfucking skin. Like, bitch. Like, mm. why? Like, okay, why am I? Okay, hey, I'm not against nobody or nothing like that. But sometimes, you know, Jacob will attract certain people. I may not be into it in that. You know? Everyone knew that she was transitioning. As you can see in the previous interview that I showed you, this was actually spoken about. How I knew Jessica used to be Jacob is because one day I was like, yo, what happened to that dude Jacob? And I was looking on the internet and boom, this woman's page comes up and, and I, I don't see her face at the time. I just hear a voice. I'm like, who the hell's that? So I looked again. I'm like, something's going on. And then a link that was that should have been to Jacob's channel linked back to Jessica's messy tea spot. But she was like a different not name, Living Fearless. I don't know. She changed her name so many times. So I was like, oh my god. 
he's pretending to be a woman? <laughs> like, because he didn't show his face. And then later on, I'm like, no, I think he changed his sex, right? So that just, wow, because I totally forgot about him changing and etc and being open about it y'all jacob was buff and muscly and now he turned to like this feminine woman now jacob played a big part of my life because during that time i was being more open about myself and real about myself to my family and i think he had some videos that helped with that so that's how i was introduced to jacob so that's why you linger in my head now and then i'm like who's that guy again and then I found this page. Back in those days, we had Alexis K. Tyler, but I was a teenager, bro. I was a teenager. Jessica has reached her milestone to 5,000 subscribers. Shout out to you, congratulations on that, okay? Jessica stopped showing her face for a while on YouTube. Like, it was just voiceovers, etc. And then she came back <laughs> looking like this. I heard you bitches was looking for me. Here I go. I heard you bitch was looking for me. Here I go. <laughs> I heard you bitch was looking for me. Girl, can you imagine? I came from this, and then people see me back like this, and then this is what I was on. Me. Here I go. I heard you bitch was looking for me. Here I go. So that's what that was about. I heard you bitches looking for me because it was so many people at me, getting at me on all different uh, websites. Oh my God, where's Gigi? What's going on with her? You know, so I, I came out and I remember that. I heard you bitches looking for me. Here I go, you know? So I used that as satire, as a joke. Now, some people took it very serious. It was like, oh my God, she done fucked up her face. Look at all that goddamn surgery she got. Oh my goodness. Okay, but um, I wanted to navigate with this filter. And I think I did a great job. I think it was very impressive. Nobody has done it. Um, I'm always doing some new stuff. If you know me, you know I'm very creative. Um, so look at that. I have over 5.8 likes, 924. Right? And uh, looking back, I can understand. I can definitely look, understand. Um, so I'm looking in the comment section and see what you guys are saying. So I felt the same way. When she came back, I was like, what the hell did she do? Like, she a white woman now. <laughs> the nose a little bit smaller. The skin very pale looking. What happened? <laughs> One thing the filter ain't going to do, though, is the neck. Okay? And the neck shows all. So I think Jessica is probably in her 40s i would say that i think jessica is probably in her 40s maybe maybe this is a reach or oh, if she's not in her 40s my bad <laughs> i apologize she's in her late 30s but i think she's in her 40s just knowing the time i was watching her i feel that she would be in her 40s now look when i saw look 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 look, look. she says she's not showing her face because she wants to protect her privacy right and that's why she's not revealing herself, but that contradicts what you're saying because you're already showing us in this video what you used to look like. So I don't think, I think that's Cap. I think she probably do look a little bit older now. And nothing wrong with it, she still look good. 